hello everyone welcome back to vfx factory once again and welcome back to another exciting unreal engine tutorial today's video is all about how we can use our android smartphone camera as a virtual camera inside of unreal engine this process is so easy you just need a simple android smartphone whatever may be the price so this is the footage i have recorded in my smartphone so i am going to use this one and convert it into the virtual camera inside of unreal engine so without much delay let's start the video so you can use any of your 3d software that you have cinema 4d or blender or any other 3d software okay so for now i am using cinema 4d so i will simply go to tracker then i will go for the motion tracker and here i have footage option just go to footage and select your footage here and in the lens profile also select the same footage here after then go to 2d tracking and just click on the auto track it will take some time to progress after finishing of 2d tracking go for the 3d solve and then just hit on the run 3d solver so after finishing the 3d solver now we have only one last step to go for the unreal engine so go to the edit just click on the project setting after then here you have cinewire option just click on save polygon save animation cache and that's all and all we have to do is go to file and and click on save project as and save wherever you want i will rename this as cineware and save it it will take some time so the process of exporting of 3d camera is finished now we will jump into the unreal engine after opening the unreal engine i will select this blank click on ray tracing and rename this project as tutorial create so after opening the Unreal Engine, all you have to do is go to File, New Level and select any of this option. I will select this one. And here first I will add some environmental light. After then we will import our Cinema 4D camera. I mean our smartphone camera inside this. Okay. So simply add directional light skylight then go to visual effect add sky atmosphere volumetric clouds and then exponential height fog okay that's all by control l we can change our direction okay now we will import our cinema 4d exported camera inside this but before that we have to enable some plugin inside this so simply go to edit and select on plugin just click here c4d and you can get this option data smith c4d importer just click here and restart your program and save selected okay just rename your project here that is camera tracking okay and save it so after restarting the program just close this option and just go to this plus icon and here you can get this option of data smith just go to file import and select the project that we have exported from the cinema 4d so select here and hit ok and must remember this all option should be checked ok so import here our project is imported so go inside the animation and just double click on this cinever option and here is our sequence you can see our camera is moving okay so go to perspective and just select the soft camera here that's all now our camera is imported so now we will create the environment whatever we want 
this process you know all know that so i will go to this position let me create one more camera to see from another perspective what we will create or where is our camera position so i will go to cinematic and cine camera actor and here i will choose this one okay so let me see where is our camera okay so let's delete this floor for now we will close this option okay and first i will add a landscape so go to landscape here and simply hit create okay now let's check from our another camera view so here is our camera okay so if i open my sequence you can see landscape is not showing so what we have to do just sorry this is selected just change its position to here okay just select this cinever and change its position to little bit upper okay so that's all now now if we hit play this is okay now okay so that's all now we can easily create our environment let's create our own environmental light so first i will delete some of this light option from default so I'll, so i will select this reflection this one this one and this one and this sky atmosphere sorry and this atmospheric fog and delete this all now i will create my own light setup so go to direction light skylight and make all these things movable from here and go to visual effect add some sky atmosphere add some volumetric clouds and then exponential height for that's all sorry okay now we can create our environment by pressing control l you can change your light direction okay so this will be direction so now we will go to quicksell bridge and start searching for the 3d asset for your environment imagine what you want to create for this frame or this scene okay then check out all the bridge option so i have already downloaded some of the natural rock assets so i will directly go to local and here i have all these options so one by one i will start adding these rocks i have to sign in so after sign in i have already downloaded this all these assets so simply i will go to this add option to export so after exporting you will get this windows so simply you can directly download all this asset before starting the environment creation so i will simply minimize this and start adding i will go to mega scan folder go to mega scan under that we have 3d asset and this is our 3d asset that i have downloaded and exported so simply drag and drop this now the process is simple as usual we all do so you can skip this process and directly go to the rendering process how we can render this mobile camera that we have using now you can directly skip to that so i will speed up this process now
content creation is completed now we will check how this is looking in our smartphone camera that we have exported from the cinema 4d so simply press control space and go to anim this cinema option after then go to animation and just double click here and go to perspective and select this solved camera okay must remember otherwise why otherwise you cannot see the perspective of your smartphone camera okay so simply select this one and if i hit play you can see how this is beautifully working that we have recorded inside the smartphone android smartphone and and using that camera we have this virtual camera inside of unreal engine so this is the whole process now the most important thing that is rendering this footage okay so you may get some problem if you simply proceed to rendering this so you have to add one more thing that is go to track and just select this camera cut track after then you can render this footage so go to this render option and select here just select your require option from this options export options okay so i will simply select this png sequence as i always use png sequence then go to output and select the folder and just save it and after then simply click on accept and render so this is the beginner's way how you can use your android smartphone camera into a virtual camera inside of unreal engine if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a like and give your feedback in the comment section below and more professional way of how you can create virtual camera inside of unreal engine will be in our channel in upcoming unreal engine tutorials till then have a nice day